Kaya Chaksur and Militani Na Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha. I need to share the screen. Okay. Vancha Kaupata Rubyasya Kripa Sindhu Bhai Evacha Patitanam Pavani Bhyo Vaishnavi Bhyo Namo Namaha. Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadha Shri Vasadi Gaur Bhakta Vinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare We're reading Nectar of Devotion and today we're beginning chapter number four, Devotional Service Surpasses All Liberation. So this chap this chapter begins with a, a, a statement of Maharaj Prithu, who was an incarnation of Krishna, who appeared a long time ago. So Maharaj Prithu is described in the fourth canto of the Srimad Bhagavatam and we're going to quote a verse from the 20th chapter, verse number 24. And from this verse, we, will, we can understand how much a devotee is actually attached to devotional service. So Maharaj Prithu prays to the Supreme Personality of Godhead. He prays to him that he said, if after taking liberation, I have no chance, I don't get the opportunity to hear the glories of your Lordship, which are chanted by pure devotees from the core of their heart in praise of Krishna, In praise of your lotus feet. <coughs> and if, if I have no chance for this honey of transcendental bliss, then I shall never ask for liberation or this so called spiritual emancipation. <laughs> ท่านเนี่ยจะกล่าวว่าองค์พระกวนที่รักหากหลังจากได้รับความหลุดพ้นแล้วค่ะไม่มีโอกาสได้ฟังเกี่ยวกับพระบารมีของพระองค์เอ
มื่อบุคคลเนี่ยมีความจริงใจในการปฏิบัติการที่ตนเสียสละรับใช้เนี่ยสิ่งที่เขาอยากจะทําก็คือเขาจะมีความกระตือรือร้นที่จะอยากสวดภาวนาอยากฟังเกี่ยวกับการสรรเสริญของพระองค์อยู่ตลอด So when a devotee is really serious about devotional service, all they want to do is to hear and chant about the Supreme Lord. They have no time. They have no interest in other things. Now, now impersonalists, their goal is to merge into the existence of the supreme. They they should understand that. If they give up their individuality, which is what their goal is, their goal is to lose their individuality. But if they lose their individuality, then they won't be able to hear or chant about the Supreme Lord. <laughs> And they have no, they don't, the impersonalists, they don't know anything about the transcendental form of the Lord. So because they don't know anything about the Lord, they can't, they're not able to chant about the Lord because they don't know anything. So we should understand that we have to be, we have to come to the, we have to go beyond liberation, and then we can actually take pleasure in hearing about the Lord. And without being on the transcendental platform, without being liberated, we will, we won't be able to appreciate the real glories of the Lord. And we won't. We won't appreciate the real transcendental form of the Lord either. So you can see, impersonalism is a very unfortunate condition of life. It's not something we should want. But devotees are all liberated souls because they understand they're not the body. They understand their spiritual position as a servant of Krishna. So that is actually liberation. That is the transcendental platform. Then it said there's a, a a similar statement is found in the Srimad Bhagavatam fifth canto, fourteenth chapter, verse forty-four. Sukadeva Goswami is instructing Maharaj Parikshit. And he's telling him, Sukadeva Goswami is telling him about the great soul named Maharaj Bharat, who was so much attached to the lotus feet of Krishna that he gave up being the ruler over the whole planet. Sukadeva Goswami, 
He gave up. He renounced everything. And he gave up his attachment for his children and for his friends and the, all the opulence of the royal palace and his beautiful wife. He gave up everything. And he was so he was so fortunate that the goddess of fortune would offer him all kinds of material opulences. But Maharaj Bharat didn't want any of them. Although the goddess of fortune was offering everything to him, he didn't want them. He wasn't interested. So Sukadeva Goswami glorifies this Maharaj Bharat. He says, oh, he says, he's a very great devotee. And Sukadeva says, any person who is attracted by the transcendental qualities of the Lord, then he does not care for liberation. He's not interested to get liberation. And he's, <laughs> and he's not interested in any kind of material opulence. In the material world, you see that the great sages, they all want to get liberation. And ordinary people are very attracted to enjoy material opulence. <laughs> But Maharaj Bharat, he was not interested in any of these things. He just wanted devotional service. Then there's another example from the Srimad Bhagavatam, 6th canto. 11th chapter, verse 12. So, it, this is from something spoken by Vrita Sura, who was, who was in the body of a demon, but actually he was a great devotee. So Vrita Sura, in his past life, he was a devotee called Maharaj Chitraketu, and he happened to go to see Lord Shiva. Uh, Vrita Sura, he was a devotee Shiva Maharaj Chitraketu, and he went to Pasiva. So he, when he went to see Lord Shiva, he saw Lord Shiva was sitting and he had his wife sitting on his lap and he was embracing her. And in front of Lord Shiva were all the great sages and followers of Lord Shiva, all men. And they were all sitting there and Lord Shiva was sitting with his wife sitting on his lap and he was embracing her. เพราะว่าเขาเนี่ยได้เดินทางไปเห็นสถานการณ์ในฉากที่แบบว่าพระทัวร์เนี่ย
มีภรรยามาเฮซีของพ่อองเนี่ยทรงนั่งอยู่บนตักแล้วก็มีพวกเอ่อฤาษีเนี่ยมาสนับฟังกันเยอะเลยก็นั่งอยู่ข้างล่างผู้ที่ปฏิบัติธรรม So when Maharaj c h i t r a k e t u saw Lord Shiva like that, then he 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 laughed a little bit, and he thought it was unusual that Lord Shiva is so elevated and he's so renounced, but he was sitting embracing his wife. So Lord Shiva's wife was not happy with this c h i t r a k e t u because he had laughed at Lord Shiva, so she cursed him. And she cursed. This Maharaj c h i t r a k e t u that he should become a demon, and he took birth as Vritasura. <laughs> Actually, when v r i t a s when c h i t r a k e t u got cursed to become a demon, he didn't get angry. He just offered the basin s e a s to Lord Shiva's wife, and he said, "Thank you, mother." ตอนที่มาราจิตเคตูได้รับคำสับแช่งเนี่ยปรากฏว่าท่านก็แบบว่าไม่ได้โมโหอะไรเลยแต่กลับเรียกว่าขอบคุณคุณแม่นาน So Lord Shiva's wife was surprised because she thought when she cursed him that she would make him angry, but she didn't make him angry. แล้วพันเอ่อมาเอซีของพระศิวะเนี่ยก็รู้สึกแปลกใจว่าตอนแรกนะคิดว่าเขาจะต้องโมโหแน่เลยสับเขาแต่ว่าเขาไม่โมโห So Lord Shiva told his wife. He said, "This is the greatness of the devotees of Lord Narayan." And she, Lord Shiva told his wife that the devotees they're not afraid of heaven or hell or liberation. They see everywhere the same. เพราะสำหรับสาวอะไรแล้วเนี่ยไม่ว่าจะเป็นสวรรค์นรกหรือโลกมนุษย์เนี่ยทุกอย่างเขามองทุกอย่างเท่าเทียมกันหมด So Maharaj c h i t r a k e t u was cursed and he became this demon v r i t a s u r a So he was huge big demon and he was fighting against the demigods but he was actually a devotee แล้วก็เขาก็เลยกลายเป็นต้องอยู่ในร่างมารนี้แล้วก็ต้องต่อสู้กับฝั่งกองเทวดาแต่ว่าความจริงแล้วเขาเนี่ยเป็นสาวก So here in this text we uh, we're given a a prayer which v r i t a s u r a offered to the Lord แต่ตรงนี้เนี่ยเราก็จะมาอ่านบทมนต์ที่ v r i t a s u r a เนี่ยถวายให้กับ Uh, And v r i t a s u r a says to the Lord, he said, "He said I may leave your service, and and I may get promotion to the higher planet like Dhruva Loka, which is the pole star in the universe." And he said, "If I leave your service, ดาวก็ดูปลุกหรือว่าดาวนะ Or he said, I may leave your service and I may become the ruler over all the planets in the universe. ถ้าเกิดว่าข้าเนี่ยไม่ปฏิบัติการรับใช้พระองค์แล้วข้าอาจจะได้รับได้เป็นเจ้าของระบบดาวก็ทั้งหมดในจักรวาล But v r i t a s u r a said, I don't want, I don't want this. And I don't want the mystic perfection of yoga practice. And I don't want to get spiritual emancipation either. 
All I want is that I will get your association and transcendental service eternally. So this is very nice desire of Vritasura. Although he's a demon, he just wants devotional service, birth after birth. And Lord Chaitanya also prays like that in the Shikshastikam. <laughs> Lord Chaitanya prays, Nadanam na janam na sundarim kavitam va jagadisha kamaye Mama Janmani Janmanishwari Bhavatad Bhaktir Ahaitaki Twaye. Lord Chaitanya prays, O oh my Lord, I have no desire to accumulate wealth, nor do I want any number of followers, nor do I want to enjoy the opposite sex. I simply want devotional service, birth after birth. <laughs> อ่าข้าพเจ้าเนี่ยไม่มีความปรารถนาวัตถุประการใดไม่ไม่ต้องการแม้แต่ความหลุดพ้นความมั่งคั่งทางวัตถุหรือว่าหญิงสาวที่ส
อันนี้เนี่ยเป็นตอนที่แพ้เนี่ยสตรากมันดาดิติแต่ว่าเก็บบนสวรรค์จะมีอดิตีกับดิติอดิตีเนี่ยเป็นแม่ของเราเทวดาแล้วก็ดิติจะเป็นแม่ของเรามาร So this might be a mistake maybe I have to you have to check s r i m a d Bhagavatam and see is she, is 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 Indra speaking to Aditi or is he speaking to Diti because Aditi is really the mother of the demigods and Diti is the mother of the two demons Haranyakashipu and Haranyaksha. Okay. 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 Ok
he could hear Narada Muni preaching to him. So after he took birth and then he went to he grew up and went to Gurukula, then he still wants to preach and he's preaching to the other students in the Gurukula. So Prahlad knows that all his friends are all born in the atheistic family because they're all demons. The demons are atheists. So Prahlad Maharaj said to these his friends from the in the Guru Kula, he said, if you can please Krishna, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, then there's nothing more rare in this world. If Lord Krishna is pleased with you, then any desire you may have in your heart will be fulfilled without any doubt. So Prahlad Maharaj tells his friends, it's useless to just only try to elevate, to put, raise yourself up to a higher position in the material world. Everything is arranged by the modes of nature. And it's also no use for you to try to get liberation impersonal liberation. But if you are always chanting the glories of the Lord and always relishing the nectar of the service of the Lord, then there is n n you don't need any of these things. So we, we have to understand if we are able to take pleasure in chanting and hearing about Krishna, then you've already passed all the other you, you don't need any other material things. You don't need to do pious activities. And you don't need to get liberation from material life. Because if you have devotional service, you won't need any of these things. Any of these other things, are, they're, no, they're not important. And then in the seventh canto, eighth chapter, verse 42, you have the demigods are offering prayers to Lord Nishingadev. So, all, after Lord Nishingadev had killed the demon Haranyakashipu, then Lord Nishingadev was very angry. And all the different demigods came to offer prayers to try to pacify him. 
แล้วหลังจากเทพพระองค์เจ้านาสิงห์เดชทรงสังหารฮิรัญญาคาชิปุแล้วเนี่ยพระองค์ก็ทรงมีความโมโหเป็นอย่างมากแล้วก็เราเทวดาต่างๆเนี่ยก็พยายามเข้าเฝ้าพระองค์แล้วก็ปลอบอารมณ์ So Indra is the king of heaven and he came and he offered his prayer to Lord n a s i n g h a d e v Archana, are you there? Yes, Guma. I only heard the part you said. The Indra is the king of heaven. And After that, so Indra came to offer his prayers to Lord n a s i n g h a d e v And he says to Lord n a s i n g h a d e v that the demons talk about our share. In the performance of sacrifice. But today you have appeared in the form of Lord Nishringadev, so you've saved us from all fear. Uh, and whatever share we get from the sacrifice, it's only due to you, because you're you're the supreme enjoyer of all sacrifices. You are the you are the super soul of every living entity. And everything belongs to you. So you you are the actual owner of everything. Uh, our hearts were always filled with fear. In our heart, we were always afraid of the demons, like h a r a n i k a s h i p u But you've been very kind to us. You have killed him, and so you have removed that fear. <coughs> And so now we can get that that demon out of our heart, and we can place you, the Supreme Lord, within our hearts again. By engaging in your service. All the opulences which were taken away by the demons are are counted as nothing. And devotees don't even care about liberation, and we don't value any material opulence. And we don't enjoy the fruit of sacrifice. Our only duty is to engage in your service. Because you are the enjoyer of everything. Because you are the enjoyer of everything. 
So we should understand this statement made by Indra. Indra of offering his prayers to Lord Nishingadev. So Lord Indra is saying that from the, the, the biggest person in the universe, Lord Brahma, down to the smallest, most insignificant living entity, like a tiny insect, that they're all meant for enjoying the material world. No, that they're not meant for enjoy, enjoying the material world. Indra is speaking to Lord Nishringa Dev, offering, no, offering prayers. Okay. We're only meant for offering everything to the Supreme Lord. And when we offer everything to the Lord, then we enjoy this, the, we enjoy the benefit. And we give the example, just like in the body, there are different parts of the body and different parts of the body <laughs> We'll collect the food and we have to cook the food and then the, the meal is given to the stomach. We used our hands to cut and to clean and we used our legs to go to the shop or go to the the garden and get the vegetables. And we have to use our eyes and our hands to cut and cook and clean. And after we offer the food to Krishna, then when we eat, we give the food to the stomach, and the stomach enjoys. But after the food goes to the stomach, all the other parts of the body, they also enjoy the benefit of the food. In the same way, if we satisfy the Supreme Lord, then everyone will also become satisfied. There's another verse, this time from the 8th canto, 3rd chapter of Srimad Bhagavatam, verse 20. So this is telling about Gajendra, the elephant, who was attacked by the crocodile. So Gajendra was a very big elephant, he was the king of the elephants and they were residing in the heavenly planets and Gajendra had a big family, he had many wives and many children, elephants and they were all, they all went to take their bath in the lake one day. Uh, 
อกูที่แบบว่าเจ้าป่าเลยแต่ว่าแล้วครั้งนึงเนี่ยก็ทุกคนก็พาครอบครัวเนี่ยไปกินข้าวไปกินน้ำที่แม่น้ำแห่งหนึ่ง So Gajendra when he was coming out of the water he got attacked by the crocodile and the crocodile got his leg and wouldn't let go แล้วตอนนั้นเนี่ยก็ปรากฏว่ามีจระเข้เนี่ยไปงับขาของช้างนี้แล้วก็ไม่ยอมปล่อย So Gajendra was fighting for a long time and he couldn't get free and the crocodile was And at home in the water, so the crocodile was becoming stronger, and Gajendra was becoming weaker. So they were fighting, and then Gajendra somehow he remembered a prayer to the Supreme Lord. And the Lord came, and the Lord saved him from the gadget, from the crocodile. And so Gajendra is offering prayers to the Lord who came to save him. And he prays to the Lord. He said, "I have no experience of the bliss from your devotional service." He said, "I I didn't ask you for devotional service. I just asked you for a favor to save me from this crocodile." But I know that people, people, person, people who are pure devotees and who serve your lotus feet and serve the lotus feet of the great devotees, that they get free of all material desires, and they're all, always in bliss. แต่ใครเนี่ยทราบดีว่าใครก็แล้วแต่ที่ได้รับพรจากพระองค์เนี่ยก็จะได้รับพรแห่งการที่เขาเขาเนี่ยจะมีความพึงพอใจแล้วมีจะได้จะหลุดพ้นจากความทุกทางวัตถุทางปวงเพราะพระองค์ทรงจะให้ประทานให้ So these great devotees they're always satisfied just by glorifying you by they just glorify you So they're always satisfied, and there's nothing else for them. They don't want anything else, and they don't pray for anything. So this is the mood of the pure devotees. And then another statement from the ninth canto of the Srimad Bhagavatam, fourth chapter, verse sixty-seven. So this is spoken by the Lord of Vaikuntha. The Lord of Vaikuntha means Lord Narayan, and he's speaking to Durvasa Muni. เป็นตอนที่พระเจ้าแห่งไวคุณตาเนี่ยทรงตอบกับท่านดูรวาสามุนีดูรวาสามุนี was being chased by the Sudarshan Chakra the Sudarshan Chakra was chasing him and he went everywhere to try to get away from the Sudarshan Chakra แล้วดูรวาสามุนีเนี่ยโดนสุดาร์ชันชักระเนี่ยไล่แต่เขาก็ไปทุกที่เพื่อขอความช่วยเหลือ he went to Lord Brahma He went to Lord Shiva, and then he went into Vaikuntha to Lord Narayan, and he asked them, "Please save me! This Sudarshan Chakra is coming." So 
because Durvasa Muni had committed a, an offence against the devotee Maharaj Ambarish. And so the Lord sent the Sudarshan Chakra after him. So Durvasa Muni went all the way to Vaikuntha. But Lord Narayan is going to tell him that I cannot save you because you've offended a devotee. So Lord Narayan is describing about the, the glories, the wonderful qualities of the pure devotees. And he says, my pure devotees are always engaged in devotional service, and they do not want even they do not want even the five kinds of liberation. So the five kinds of liberation are first of all one, to become one with the Lord, two, to achieve residence on his planet, three, to have his opulences, four, to possess bodily features like his, and five, to gain personal association with him. <laughs> Uh, so they're not interested in liberation, so they have even, they have absolutely no interest in all kinds of material opulence or material liberation. And here's another prayer this time from the Naga Patnis, who are the wives of the Kaliya serpent. So this is from the 10th canto of the Srimad Bhagavatam, 16th chapter, verse 37. So these wives of Kaliya Serpent, they are all very great devotees. They also offered prayers to Lord Krishna, and by their prayers, Lord Krishna saved their husband. Kaliya had given a lot of trouble. He had given a lot of trouble. He poisoned the water of the Yamuna. He poisoned the water of the Yamuna and many cows were affected and the cowherd boys also and the people of Vrindavan couldn't get water. They couldn't go to the Yamuna to drink. So Krishna had to come there and he had to punish the Kaliya serpent and tell the Kaliya serpent to go. And so the Nagapatni they prayed to Krishna. They prayed to Krishna, they said that the dust of your lotus feet is very wonderful. <coughs> And any person who is fortunate to get that dust, he won't be interested for heavenly planets. 
ที่ช่างดีพอที่ได้บรรลุถึงระองคุลิภวาตนี้เนี่ยจะไม่สนใจใยดีกับโลกสวรรค์ and he won't be interested to be the lord of all the planetary systems แล้วเขาเนี่ยจะไม่สนใจในการที่จะเป็นเจ้าของระบบดาวเคราะห์ทั้งหมด and he won't be interested in mystic perfection of yoga And he won't want liberation from material existence. So anybody who gets the dust from the lotus feet of the Lord, they won't care. They won't have any interest for any other kind of perfection. There's nothing compared to. The dust of the lotus feet of Krishna. All right. So we'll stop here today. Are there so you have some questions from yesterday? Uh, Chinese question might be there. Uh, Sati Sati Mataji. Sati Mataji. Yes. 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 然后第一个问题是，呃 v e d a v a t i Mataji， 呃 ，Hare Krishna， 顶拜敬爱的 Guru Day， 呃，请问女人为什么有竞争的天性 ？Hare Krishna， 为什么有竞争？竞争。呃，就昨天在讲那个王后们 ，Krishna 的王后。那个萨提爸爸和，和那罗格米尼，对他们有本身有这个竞竞争的这个天性嘛？您昨天在讲课当中讲的，嗯，相互竞争。为什么有竞争？啊，的，的天性的呃 quality。Why is there some competition between s a t y a b a m a and r u k m i n i ทำไมถึงมีการมีเหมือนกับการแข่งขันระหว่างสเตวามากรุณินี They're both wives of Krishna, so why is there this competition, this tension between them that one wants to be better than the other? บอกว่าเดบอกว่าทั้งคู่เนี่ยก็เป็นภรรยาของคริสตันด้วยกันทั้งนั้นแต่ทำไมถึงแบบจะแข่งกัน Well. We have to understand this is also pastimes. This is, it gives Krishna pleasure to see how the wives want to be more important than the other. One wife wants to be more important than the other. It's all, it's all for Krishna's enjoyment. <laughs> Rukmini was the first wife, and so because she was the first wife, so there's, you know, some more connection there. And after he married Rukmini, then later, then Satyabama came. Satyabama was given; her father gave her to Krishna. <laughs> เพราะว่าสัตว์เตวามาเนี่ยเป็นลูกที่แบบว่าคุณพ่อเนี่ยทรงประทานให้ทรงประทานแล้วพี่พี่ชายเนี่ยก็ทรงประทานให้กับกิชนาไว้ so Prabhupada explained he said this is something of a woman's nature that women that you know generally they they want to feel the center of attention for their husband and if the husband's more interested or gives attention to another woman Then they they don't like it so much because they think I should be more important than her. 
เราเซฟเพราะว่าอธิบายบอกว่ามันเป็นธรรมชาติของผู้หญิงที่อยากได้รับอยากจะได้รับความสนใจจากสามีของตนเป็นพิเศษเราแล้วเวลาสามีไปสนใจผู้อื่นเนี่ยนางก็จะรู้สึกไม่ดี Actually this is more the nature of Satya Bama but Satya Bama has this tendency the other wives they don't have that same tendency so But it's all lila for Krishna's pleasure, past to create more pastimes, you know, for Krishna's enjoyment. The real purpose is to please Krishna. And we heard Krishna expands to be with each wife, so each wife had Krishna with her, and each wife is thinking that I'm the most important wife because Krishna's with me. But Krishna wasn't just with each; he was with all the wives. <coughs> But the, the, each wife is thinking Krishna is with me. Uh -huh. Okay, hi, your Chitali Venti, Sati. ยศังกวันที่ที่อาร์กวันที่ใช่ไหมอืมฮาริคิชนาที่อาร์กวันที่是多帕蒂巴达吉问的，就是呃顶拜古对呃养母牛很取悦奎什纳，我们居士居住在城镇很难做这样的服务，有奉献者倡议布施呃给养母牛的那个牧场完成这样的愿望，呃问问咕噜可以吗？ Oh. So she's saying that uh, people give pleasure to Krishna by taking care of the cows, and they raise cows. So she said, "We live in the city. We cannot keep cows in our place where we live. It's not possible to keep cows. So can we give donations? Some people are asking donations for the cows to take care of the cows. So can we give money?" For the care of the cows. Well, you have to be sure that the money goes to the cows. You know, you have to be very careful with these with these things. When you give charity to people, you don't know what they're going to, how they're going to do do. You may say the money's for the cows, and may use the money for something else. So you have to be cautious what you do with your money. You may not be able to keep cows yourself. Maybe you can meet some people who live in the countryside, who have a farm or something. Maybe they have cows. Okay, next. Next question. Uh, next question is from Yasu David Madhavi. Is that if we are sick when we are sick, we must rest. Is it possible to accept the pain of the sweat coming down? 
那个呃捐血者的这个业报，如果要是有这个业报的话，怎么去抵消？ Okay, she say、uh, that if we get sick and if we have to get blood, somebody has they have to give us blood, and so the,、uh, do we get karma for that? And do we have to, how do we get rid of the karma? Yes, well, there would be karma, but if you. If you engage yourself fully in devotional service, you know. If you're always engaged in devotional service, then you get free of all the karma. So by chanting Hare Krishna without offense, and by engaging nicely in the service of Krishna, then you get rid of all the karma. The body is meant for the service of Krishna. So if you have to take blood, you take blood from somebody else. Then they're getting some benefit. If they give blood to a devotee, it's they get benefit. If you are, but you have to fully engage in devotional service. Okay. Jinte and you went him. Jinte and you, me went him. Sati. Um, today I have a question, Gurudev. Please let me look at it. Uh, Radhe Sam, Pingpai Guru. Uh, the first question is, if the non-dualistic believers come to the Garden, call me Bhushji. Do I have to pay for it? I am. Ah, he said, if the non-dualistic believers come to the Garden, he. 如果呃，就是想给这个布施的话，可不可以？啊，说 impersonalists come asking for donations. Are we can we can are we allowed to give them donations or not? 啊，不，今天现在卢布拉玛可，他们来来催他，他们来来对吧 ？Well, <laughs> yeah. You 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 wouldn't want to give them too much donation. You could give some very small. Don sometimes, you know, sometimes if you don't give donation, then it's not very nice, and they may think very bad of you. So you could give, you know, a very small donation. You don't have to give a big donation. You just keep it very small. <laughs> Sometimes we like to just give prasadam. We would just give some instead of giving money. We'd prefer to give prasadam to them. Anyway, Radhi Sham, she has a restaurant. She has a, a a vegetarian restaurant. So if they come there, you can tell them. You know, they can have some prasadam. Just take a, take the lunch there. That's nice. But give them prasadam to eat. Rather better than giving them money, you give them prasada. Okay. How you went, Tima? Sati, how you went, Tima? Uh, 对，他问了第二个问题，就是说有那种得重大疾病的人，有人来就是也是来募捐，要要给他捐款。他问就是这种情况，奉献者要给了捐款的话，会不会承担业报 ？Yes, if you give money to people who are not devotees, then yes, you will get some karma. 
You cannot avoid karma. It's there in everything. But I'm telling you how you can protect yourself, right? That what you can do is instead of giving money, you give food, <laughs> give prasadam. If you give prasadam, there's no karma. But if you give money, then they take that. They're, they're not devotees, and they're taking the money, and they will. You don't. They're not going to use it for devotional service. So yes, you'll get some karma for that.好的,那个,呃,呃,那是怕不,呃,不是还是外在怕不,有,有提了一个问题。呃,他说,奉献者希望医生回归人性世界,那么会不会把之前所有生事的不好的这种业报都放在这一世来承受呢?承受完了才可
And so devotee sees a devotee sees everything as the mercy of Krishna. Although it may appear, oh, it's a curse, oh, he's in the body of a demon, oh, maybe we may think, oh, terrible, but actually it was a blessing because uh, then he could go back to Godhead quickly. Okay. Okay. Uh, last one. 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 我不太懂,就是什么动物?就是有一些猫啊,狗啊,这些小动物,没有人要了,在外面流浪的,有收容这些流浪动物的这种收容所,他给这个地方捐款,是不是好的不是? She's asking about the, you know, the street dogs and street cats which are taken in. So is it all right to give donation for the care of these animals like the street dogs and the street cats which they, which are homeless and they have nobody to take care of? And so they, they, the government sometimes they just collect them and they just kill them all. But she's asking is it okay to give donations for them for the maintenance of these animals? <laughs> Well, it's not devotional service, and it's it's not the kind of karma which is going to help you get devotional service. It's 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 a very mundane, materialistic activity to give charity for the dogs and cats. It's, this is not really the business of devotees. So, you want to use your money for the service of Krishna, you don't want to use your money just for taking care of dogs and cats. You know, you give money for dogs and cats, the dogs and cats all eat meat. They'll feed them meat and fish. Okay. Okay, Padma Mataji has a question. Padma, you have a question? Hare Krishna Gurudev, please accept my humble obeisance at your lotus feet. All glories to Srila Prabhupada. What I want to know, Gurudev, is um, sometimes on the festival days, the temple reminds us to send some donation because they, they, they distribute food to devotees and to poor people. So is it okay? I mean, does it come under devotional service? Yes, if you give the money for the temple, the money is going to the temple, it's going for devotional service, it's going to be prasadam, prasadam will be distributed to people. Yes, it's devotional service. Okay. Okay, that, that's what I want to know, Gurudev. Okay. Thank you so much. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Vaishnavi Vani Madhiji has a question. 
Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj, my humble obeisances, all glory to Srila Prabhupada. Uh, there is a statement, uh, we read, uh, uh, what is the use of elevating yourself by the results of fruitive activities? Yes. Uh, which is automatically achieved. Uh, I was thinking what fruitive activities and means uh, is this the rituals or how it's it's automatically achieved, something like that, Kurman, just a little not very clear. Well, it's I mean, talking about activities in the material world, you do things in the material world for a benefit, to enjoy more, you know, fruit of activities, we want to enjoy the results of our work. It's, it, come, it could be in the form of economic prosperity, we get more material position, uh, we get better facilities in our material life, it may also be in the next life to go to higher planets, so. Okay, uh, maybe uh, constructing big buildings, this, not this kind of things, I'm not sure. Well, uh, yes, of course, people who have a lot of money, uh, they're maybe landowners or something, and they put up buildings, so. Yeah, they, why did they put up the building? They want to get money, they'll, go, they'll sell it or they'll rent it out, they'll make money. And this way they will enjoy for their sense gratification. So, okay. material activities for the path of fruit of enjoyment. They want to have more pleasure, more facilities in their material life bigger position, have more respect from other people, think, oh, he's a very rich man or he's a very successful businessman and people will respect him and honour him more because he's so rich, so powerful. So this is fruitive activities. Devotee is not interested in that kind of work. And it comes by its own award, it means according to the karma. Someone's got good karma, someone by their good karma they make a lot of money and somebody doesn't have good karma, they don't make much money. You know, everybody's suffering and enjoying according to their karma. So the person who is poor is by his karma and the person who is rich is by his karma. Somehow he's got karma that allows him to get money and to make more money. So that's, that comes on its own, you know, even some people they make money without men and hardly any effort. The money just comes to them very easily, practically. They don't have to work very hard, they don't have to do very much, but they have good karma and so the money comes to them easily. Yeah. You understand? Yes, Guru Maharaj, I understand. Uh, yeah, yes, Guru Maharaj. But uh, in case somebody is not spiritual, they are not in the spiritual way, but uh, so they will do some this kind of fruitive activity so that they can have a good birth uh, in the next life or they can give donations so that they can have uh, something good in this life. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're, they may give charity, it's on the material platform, they, yeah. they give something, they know it will come back, it will come back at least in an equal amount or maybe even more than what they give. It may come back in this life, it may come back in the next life. Yeah. Yes, Guru Maharaj, I, I understand now, it's better for me. Yeah. So that is, of course, that is the charity which is in the mode of passion. They give in the mode of passion, they give for their own honour, for their own name, or yeah. for their own benefit. So the best charity is in the mode of goodness. Yeah. But still there are always dangers, you always tell the story of Riga. Yes. 
Yes, it's so, danger. Yeah, so it, we cannot guarantee that we they will have good results. They might end up in some bad results also. Yes, they might. Yeah, Guru Maharaj. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, thank you. there's a risk with material activities. There's always risky. Yes. All right, now Shaya Mataji, what is your question? Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj, that is my pranam. Please accept my humble obeisances. Okay, to Sulabha Pan. Oh, so refer um, about one TV program in Thailand, Guru Maharaj. Um, one Mayavadi advised the people to worship Krishna, about to request sense gratification, and she um, gave information about wrong boka to offer Krishna about like Krishna like. Uh, need intoxication about cigarette or wine and about my question is if uh, Mayavadi or people uh, worship Krishna for sense gratification uh, or, uh, and second question is um, the Mayavadi has gave wrong information um, she we got about offense or karma um, from Bhagavan and what about Riso about her, Guru Maharaj? What's the first question? Uh, first question is um, if the people worship Krishna uh, for sense gratification, they will got uh, about like material desire or not? It is good or bad, something like that, for them. Well, if they worship Krishna in the proper way, it's good for them. But if they worship Krishna by offering meat and intoxication, then it's not very good. That's not proper worship. Mm -hmm. If you're going to worship Krishna, they have to worship Krishna the way Krishna likes to be worshipped. Krishna says, you can offer me a leaf, a flower, a fruit or water. He doesn't say you can offer me intoxication and meat and alcohol. So you have to know how to worship Krishna. If you offer all these things to Krishna, Krishna won't accept. He won't accept your meat and alcohol. It's because that's not what Krishna wants. What's the second question? Uh, second question is um, one Mayavadi who uh, refer about about the she knows about uh, the good boka for offer Krishna. So it's wrong information and um, about that 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 she said in in the TV program that it mean uh, she will got um, any offense or karma uh, from Bhagawan and how about the result with her. Yes, if she offers all the wrong things to Krishna, then it's not, it, then it's offensive, it's not pleasing to Krishna. So yeah, she'll get karma. Just like if you take alcohol and, and meat and that, you get karma. You cannot get, you cannot have that without karma. So yes, it'll be karma. Okay. Okay, Guru Maharaj. And um, anyway, I will um, inform. I will writing content tonight about um, uh, to about information about good way for offer Krishna, Guru Maharaj. Okay. Good. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Guru Maharaj, for your explanation. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. So Jagat Mohan has a question.
s a t i 这个是一个中国人吗？不是。是的，是的。下单，马哈帕布，您要文字提问，现在不能语言提问，在这里，好吗？基本上都稳定学习，是吧？嗨，天使呢？过来，嗯，我想，呃，回头我我问问他吧，我们可以呃下次再回答他的问题，其他没有问题了。有一个妙音百搭机，他说这个就是在结婚呀、啊，或者是呃丧事的时候，就是人去世的时候的这种故事，他们有没有眼包？就是，嗯、呃。Somebody dies, or there's a wedding. Can we give a donation? Hmm. 对，就是在结婚或者是丧事的时候，有没有就是给给捐款？有没有夜包给礼钱？嗯。Yeah. If we give a donation at the time somebody's wedding, they come for donation, or somebody leaves a body. Uh, or some, sometimes they will come and ask donation. So if we give donation, will we get karma? Yeah, generally we will get karma. These things, we will get karma. That's why I say it's better sometimes that we give prasadam, but sometimes you have to give something. So you you just make sure that you minimize the amount that you give. You just tell them we're very poor. We don't have money. Yeah. And you keep it very low. Sometimes just because it's if you don't give, then it's very bad. You know, they 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 they, they don't like you and they they make give trouble for you. So you give something, but you just keep you know minimum amount. You have to consider the circumstances. You know, if you have to give, you have to give, and just be careful how much you give and pray to Krishna. To protect you. Archana, are you there? การให้ yes, sir. การให้การให้ทานก็ดูก่อนละกันว่าไหนแบบว่าเหมาะอาจจะบอกว่าไม่ได้ให้มากแต่ก็แนะนําในการให้เป็นในส่วนของประสาทได้มากกว่าเหลือให้เป็นอาหารเนี่ยจะดีกว่าแต่ว่าถ้าแล้วก็พยายามหลีกเลี่ยงไปเพราะว่าเราก็จะเป็นส่วนในคาร์มาที่เราจะต้องหลับด้วยเหมือนกันโอเคอาร์เรนส์ we'll stop here tonight thank you very much for all the questions and thank you for the translation okay thank you very much ชิลพระบุพาทคีเกอร์บัตต์ทูบินเดคีเกอร์บัตต์ทูบินเดคีเกอร์บัตต์ทูบินเดคีเกอร์บัตต์ทูบินเดคีเกอร์บัตต์ทูบินเดคีเกอร์